Okay, so I'm going to talk about one of the top places. You know, I mentioned the two favorite cities, suburbs outside of Tacoma that I would actually, we considered moving to. Uh, and I mentioned those, which was Gig Harbor and Puyallup. With me, Sam Puyallup would probably win based on many different things. There was one city that we never really looked at and I didn't know about until later. I had a friend, a high school friend that moved out here with her husband and she lived in the city. And I never even knew what it was until uh, probably last year. But it's really a city here in Pierce County that is really being very popular. Um, and so that city is... <music> DuPont. DuPont is the city that most people kind of are aware of. That's where Amtrak derailed uh, back in 2017, December 2017, so just last month. Um, but it is a city that is south of Lakewood, Washington. And so that would make it basically kind of southwest of Tacoma. It's directly west of McCord Air Force Base or JBLM, which is Joint uh, Base Lewis McCord. Um, so you, some people may not like that because you're going to hear mortar rounds going off whenever they do that, which is around this time frame. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of airplanes that fly around. I mean, it's an Air Force base. So a lot of that. But the good thing about it is that it's a long I-5, so it gets you up to uh, Tacoma or even Seattle and points north, but also it takes you down to Olympia if that's where you want to work. A lot of people that live there are in the military because obviously the military base is just close by. Um, there's also a commuter train that goes there. You remember I talk about, and I showed a video of the commuter train leaving uh, Tacoma. It heads south from downtown Tacoma all the way to south. There's a south area uh, in Tacoma, south Tacoma, where the station is. And then it heads from there down to DuPont. Um, well, actually, it's not connected yet. Eventually, it will be, but that's where it's going to connect to. DuPont, DuPont is about 9,400 people, and even Niche.com gives DuPont its number one rating for the best places to raise a family in Pierce County. Um, it gives them an A- minus on their overall niche grade, a B-plus for schools, an A for families. Now, here's the thing with DuPont that people may not know. Yeah, State Farm, which I did a video that talks about State Farm. They had two towers downtown where they had 1,400 employees. That is leaving Tacoma. And a lot of their workers are going to DuPont because they have a facility in DuPont. Um, so not only does DuPont, is it a small city along the waterway, good quality of life, but there's a lot of jobs that are forming down there. What a lot of people don't know is DuPont, a while back, um, basically created this master plan to have a large plan community. So we're talking somewhere in the neighborhood of about 12,000 people will be a part of that master community. Now, I don't know if that's 12,000 into the addition of 9,000 people that they have now, pushing the population to 20,000, or if they're going to add on that extra three or 4,000 to make up a total of 12,000 people. Not sure. But one thing is for certain is that the community is growing very, very fast. A lot of new development going on down there. It's basically a giant construction zone. Uh, DuPont does have a pretty high quality of life. It beats all of the other cities in Pierce County. University Place is a really nice place as well but it's actually ranked number two according to this website. And when you read through it, I can kind of understand. I mean, University Place, they give them all A's. So A minus overall for their niche grade, an A for their public schools, and an A minus for their families. So technically, in some aspects, it's better than DuPont, but I think DuPont takes it because of all of the high quality of life and also some of the lower bits of crime. I mean, really and truly, this website takes a look at everything. Crime rates, cost of living, public schools, amenities, all of those things. So one of the places that you may want to consider, and you might be paying a little bit more, because again, places have changed. When they used to be a little bit more affordable, now not so much. 
but DuPont Washington is probably one of those places that you might want to consider when you're looking for a place to live here in the area. That's pretty much it. Zara is knocking on the door. So I will talk to you later. Until next time, I will see you. Take care.